New for us tonight at 10, dozens of giant fish will be back in their historic spawning grounds. It is all part of the celebration of sturgeon on the Menominee Indian Reservation. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has our story tonight. Net by net, 15 sturgeon were returned to the waters of Chickeny Creek Tuesday afternoon. This was one of the areas that they originally spawned in. You know, there's, there's talk about when the water's high, the fish can actually hear the heartbeat um, in the falls. Buddy Wallace wanted his four-year-old grandson, Noel Turtelot, to see it. The, 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 the big, yeah. big. The Department of Natural Resources delivered 59 fish netted below the Shawano Dam. 44 of those sturgeon were released into the Wolf River just below Kashina Falls. There's a memorandum of understanding between the Wisconsin DNR and the Menominee Tribe um, to meet that requirement of a minimum of 100 fish per year. This is the sixth year of the 10-year agreement. During each of the first five years following release, we've had fish spawning below Kashina Falls. And then the one year that we did try to do some larval sampling in 2013, we captured larval lake sturgeon within an hour of sampling, indicating that there is natural reproduction taking place here as well. Ryan Koenig says most of the fish will likely swim back to the Lake Winnebago system after spawning. But for many tribal members, seeing live sturgeon here brings history to life. Very proud of the Menominee people uh, revitalizing a ceremony that went back for centuries. It's in our DNA, it's in our history, it's in our culture. Um, so, yeah, again, to see the kids, to see our people come together for such a special occasion, it, it's just, it's touching, very, very touching. In Kashina, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Pretty cool. The remaining 15 fish will be part of a powwow celebration this Saturday. Tribal members will smoke the sturgeon and serve, serve the fish at the sturgeon feast at the Menominee High School.